Yeah. No, you're not seeing double. It's two Jews. Hey, with Seth, big noses. Uh, Seth Rudetsky and Judy Gold. Here's the deal with annoying mothers. So, and we're both gay. <laughs> oh. Anywho, um, I always say my mother's the most annoying, and but I don't have like amazing stories about her. Like I could just say like whenever she serves something, it's never just hot. It's always boiling, boiling hot. And if you leave it out, it doesn't get cold. It gets freezing cold. But you have the most amazing material. So here's the, I'm mining Judy Gold for material. And by the way, just on the plug side, performing where? Metropolitan I'm at the room? Metropolitan Room on November 6th, Saturday night, be there or die. Because first of all, just describe your mother. Anything you say to her, she will then make it not only about herself, but <laughs> negative. Um, an example, New Year's Eve, she calls me, what are you doing tonight for New Year's? We're having a dinner party. We ordered in filet mignon, caviar. I'll be eating <laughs> Really, Ma? How are you going to serve that shit? Put over a little pasta, a little vegetable medley. I mean, it's everything. You know, when she calls to talk to the kids, she doesn't say, hey, can I talk to the kids? She says, they don't want to talk to me. Yeah, Ma, they got up this morning. They were like, if Grandma calls. All right. Wait, I just remember the story that you told when you had when you drove to Providence. She drove to Providence Harbor oh, late yeah. at night. Okay, just go. I'm obsessed with this. This is so my mother. Go. But this is totally my mother. So I, you know, I left for Providence. I leave at night because I want the kids to sleep in the car, and it's a five and a half hour drive. But you know, they never sleep. They're always like, I gotta pee, I gotta pee, I gotta pee. And I'm like, you know what? The astronaut drove all the way across country to kill that woman. She didn't <laughs> stop to pee. Neither are we. Put on your diaper and shut the up. Anyway, so. We get to Provincetown, and right before we left, I called her to say, Mom, I'm leaving for Provincetown. It was like 7.30 at night. Oh, it's the worst time to drive. It's the worst driving day of the year. Everything I do, it's, you know, the worst. So, <laughs> so my it's so annoying. <laughs> but it's my mother. So uh, I said, well, I'm leaving now, and I'll talk to you at some point tomorrow. So we get to Provincetown, like, you know, 2 in the morning. I get up the next morning. I have to go grocery shop. You know, it's a pain in the ass mm -hmm. when you go on vacation. And so finally, at about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, I get to the beach, and I put my chair down. And I close my eyes, and I take a deep breath, and my phone rings, and I pick it up and say hello, and on the other end I hear, that's all I want to know. And she hangs up. <laughs> Hang, literally hung up. I heard, that's <laughs> all I want to know. And then hung up. Okay, two more bits you have to do. First of all, your mother, if she was ever for some reason on the dating game, I'm obsessed. There should be a geriatric dating game. Because, <laughs> yes. you know, my father's been dead for 20 years. She's the most miserable human being. But I could just imagine a geriatric date, and she would be the first contestant, and I would be the host. Uh, I'm getting an MRI. Wait, she's asking the bachelor this? Yes, bachelor number one. I'm getting an MRI. They drill a hole into the apparatus so that you can whisper something to me. In your sexiest voice, what do you say? <laughs> Bachelor number two, we're at a dinner dance at the temple. Amazing I fall reference. and break a hip. Do you A, stay with me on the dance floor, B, run and get help, or C, leave me to that drop dead just like my kids would do? <gasps> oh, I'm so okay, now, okay, we're closing with something just in case you think she's exaggerating. Judy Gold Okay, now I can't, story. I'm gonna tell you, like Seth begged me to do this. I had to find this. I haven't done this, this in is years, but he's bit. like obsessed with this thing. But my mother, but I take Okay, so my mother, um, one time I was at my agent's office and I, you know, I call her like all the time. I and call I her every away. day because I think she's gonna drop dead and then I didn't call her and you know, whatever. I'm like in <laughs> big fear of, you know. And so I called her, and this is before cell phones. This is how old this is. And, um, I call her up from my agent's office, because it was free, you know, you had to play for a long distance. And we're talking, and my elbow hit the phone, and we got disconnected. So I just didn't call her back. I figured I'd call her later. And I had neglected to tell her that I was calling from my agent's office. So she just thinks we got disconnected, and something happened to me in my apartment. That's why. Got a bit of a heart attack. So I come home, and I play my answering machine, and this is what's on my answering machine. Judith, are you all right? Did you fall down? What happened? Where are you? I'm a wreck. I don't understand this. Maybe I'll call Marjorie and tell her to go over and find out what happened. My neighbor. Judith, where are you? Okay, now. So long. <laughs> what is it? That's what she says so long. She thinks I'm dead, and she says so long. And on that note, Judy Gold. Voila! Go see her.